Pavel Jack here, and I'm uh, here for another how to. This one is going to be for uh, turt pearls. If you're not familiar with those, they're just little boro beads, and you put them in your quartz banger to. It gives you more heat retention so you get a bigger dab. Bigger dab, more smoke. And yeah, that's uh, what a turt pearl is. And they're co coin turt pearl, I think, whenever they have a opal inside of them. So it actually looks like a fucking pearl. And they produce turps, so yeah, that's a turt pearl. A little introduction for the for the turt pearl. What I'm gonna do is show you how to encase an opal, which is very simple, and how to make a turt pearl out of that encased opal. And it's not very hard, so if you're a beginner, you can do this, it's fun, and it's good practice for, uh, just good fucking practice. Let's go do that. Alright, so, first of all, get your pearls out. Those out there are 2 mil. They seem to work best for uh, banger sizes. Uh, before I got bigger ones, and... A big bead and a banger is kind of, it doesn't work as well as the small ones do. But I like two millimeter Saphir opals of the shit. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're worth it. So in the beginning, you want to get a blow tube, get a round bottom like so. Make sure it's clean. Get your little pearl out. Never touch your opal with your bare hands. If you get grease on it, and you'll get little air bubbles on it. So you see how it's sitting there in the bottom, that round bottom? So this is why you want a round bottom. Let me throw on the didiums for you. Chapeau. So this is why you want a round bottom because it's gonna. I, I do it straight up and down and just at the very like pretty much at the end of the flame. And I want. I'm gonna let gravity do the suck like the vacuuming. Sorry, I only have this fucking camera. I don't have the GoPro. I have to give it back to my buddy. But the, when you do this, the gravity of just it's it encloses over the little sphere. And it leaves no air bubbles almost every single time. Like nine times out of ten, you'll have no air bubble. And I'll try and show you right here. And right now I'm sucking with the very lightest little suck. But, see that? Now, whenever you suck the opal too, then case it, don't suck in hard. It's like a kiss, but very like, like very slowly. But don't inhale also. Now this is the secret sauce. So I'm going to heat up the very middle of the opal, pretty much the whole ball. And I pull it out slowly. I'm trying to show you, sorry. And I pull it out like that, kind of like you're pulling a stringer for a lippy. And now I'm going to pull out the other side, closest to the right, or the right side of the opal. So now it's like a stringer with an opal in the center. And this sets you up for a good pearl. You see that? Now whenever you melt down, see how it's like a stringer? Whenever you melt down, you're gonna wanna leave a decent amount at the end so you don't have a skinny little tiny opal. You want glass around that fucker so you get some nice good heat retention. And not just an opal encased in a little tiny bit of glass. Now, heat up the middle of the opal and then the, the glass will fall back on it and it will, as long as you keep it centered, like try to keep it on access, It'll, the opal should stay there in the center. You see that? And... Just leave a little, try to leave the thinnest amount of glass on the other side. So now you want to get your punny. And get that little thing ready and pointy. Make a nice point. You don't want a fat punny out to connect to it, because you want to barely connect to it right here, because you don't want to leave any glass on there, because you're about to break it off. All right, now get the smallest little connection. People cold seal, but I like to do with a hot seal. Stick it and then pull it off so it's like, the, it's probably like a millimeter of glass that's holding onto it. And pulling off the excess glass. So now you have that. You're not done just yet. You got, you got a circle, but it's not very uniform. So now, barely. This is a, uh, it's all practice too. I've done like hundreds of these fucking things. So it's pretty, it just works first time or second time for me, but don't be don't be pissed if it doesn't like a perfect circle or it melts to your punny. So now you want to get that. See how it's barely connected on there? It's pretty much like a medium seal. It's not cold or hot. And then here's the secret sauce. You want to get it right on the very corner and hit the very tip. Bam. So now there's almost zero glass. I should have showed you. A little close up, but I wanted to do it quick before it. I don't know, something happened. 
and you want to do that that's uh, I'm getting a little nub of glass on there and then boom you got a perfect saphir near perfect saphir shebang there you go dude that was a little how to you saw it it's not that easy very uh or it is, it's very easy not that hard like if you're a beginner you can make a turret pearl and maybe the first like week or two not really that difficult the most difficult part is keeping the the uh the pearl round because if it's not round it's kind of like oblong and eggy it gets all crazy in the banger when they're nice saphir saphir cool they fucking there's a little how-to for turret pearls sorry if it was super short because uh, my, my buddy took his GoPro back because I was only using it to see if I wanted one and I do want one. I don't have a GoPro so I was kind of holding off on videos. That's the little simple turt pearl thing for you for just the meantime. Next one is going to be how to make a bowl and how to fume. So stay tuned for the next one and I'm actually giving this little turt pearl away. I'm pretty sure you know on my Instagram that I'm doing that. Just drop a comment, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see some more. Peace doggies.